You read that correctly. The crisis has been debunked. A top doctor now revealing exactly what the deep state failed to hide. And the doctor I'm talking about is Dr. Shiva. I sat down with him this week and he just downloaded revelation after revelation dissecting this crisis. The full link is in the description below. Now, before I go further into this report, I just want to make sure that you are still subscribed to our channel with your notifications turned on. And if this is your first time viewing, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. Now, the interview took place on Tuesday and Dr. Shiva came here to the Next News Network to talk about a variety of topics surrounding the crisis that the world is facing at this moment. Now, I want you again to go and hit the link in the description to watch the entire fascinating and enlightening interview in the description below. Now, he holds four degrees from MIT. He's also running for Senate in Massachusetts. Now, a crucial topic we discussed during the interview was his theory of the current crisis we're facing now being man-made and directly from the deep state. And he backed up his theory with compelling evidence that you're going to see right now. Watch. And some people have asserted um, that the base sequences there are very difficult to occur in nature, okay? That they were recombined from other components. So that's where that comes from. So the issue really comes down, the scientific question is a probability of those base sequences being different, okay? That's where it comes from. Now, separate from that, there have been reports um, that the Wuhan virus was very different. The coronavirus in Wuhan was a different strain than the one that was in Iran versus the one that was in Italy. And there's reports that I've read, you know, I haven't, it's hard to verify a lot of this, that all of those different viruses go back to one common branch, which actually goes back to Fort Detrick, okay, in the United States and North Carolina. And, and there's other, you know, again, these are suppositions that the U.S., military or deep state sent people over to Wuhan, and that's how it got uh, given in, in China. This is one theory. And the reason this comes up is because if you look at the first 41 cases, first of all, they haven't been able to find case zero, okay? But of the 41 cases, approximately 13 of these people, they're, not, they're totally disconnected to these people, okay? So the thesis is that this came from somewhere else um, into Wuhan. Now, you know, if you, whether it came in or not, my view is that if you believe in the concept of a set of people who don't care about the U.S. national interests or the Chinese national interests or the Indian national interests or Italian, they're more care for their own global interests. And, um, you know, nowadays it would not, given, you know, the level of um, collusion that we've seen that takes place on so many levels, that... Um, you know, you could view a scenario uh, where it got created by the deep state and got put out there really to suppress dissent. Let me tell you why. What. what was going on at this time? Hong Kong was blowing up. Remember that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? And, and what people do not know is six months before the coronavirus, there were massive anti-pollution protests by Chinese citizens in Wuhan, in, in the same city where this came from. Remember, you don't protest in China without risking your life. It's not like they have the First Amendment there. So large numbers of people are taking to the street and protesting, tens of thousands, because the Chinese government was going to build one of the largest incinerator plants there, which is going to just spew out pollution. By the way, the Paris Accords allows China to pollute, double their pollution. And the people in China, the everyday people really care about their health. And there have been pollution protests since 2007, anti-pollution protests. And, but Wuhan was ex extremely growing, and then you don't hear any news about it. And then also remember, in the United States, the anti-vaccine movement was growing, okay? So, you know, there's a scenario that becomes, to me, very interesting. You have Trump in the United States could not be taken down from Russian collusion. Trump could not be taken down from impeachment, right? And how extraordinary is it that this thing comes out, the timeless of it? You see Hong Kong completely disappear, serves the globalists. Because they don't have to do. Because remember, any protest uh, is creates uncertainty for globalism, right? You see Wuhan go away, and then you see now an argument is saying, of course we should vaccinate everyone, right? Against the anti-vaccine movement. So that's why I put that out. Wow. Um, and when you're a student of politics and a student of medicine, um, you start seeing these connections, and you also recognize that the academic elite in this country is basically practices the oldest profession. 
No one in the academic elite is saying anything. Fortunately, I don't owe anything to academia. I made my own money by myself. I have the training to call out a guy like a Fauci, you know, to call this out because I understand the science. And most people in the field of immune systems don't really understand the science of immune systems. If you ask a typical doctor, they, if you ask them, well, what is a virus and how does the immune system work? They actually think that the virus is some big boogeyman, you know, it's got big claws like alligators and it goes into your body and starts eating your tissues, right? Like the Ebola thing and you spew blood and the vaccine blocks that, okay? That's their understanding of the immune system and it's far from that and we can talk more about that. So that was just a snippet of the information that was presented in the longer inter from, from the longer interview, 90 minutes, alleging the deep state is behind this entire operation. It is a complete propaganda campaign designed to crash the economy, to destroy President Trump, and to usher in global fascism, global socialism, whatever you want to call it, totalitarianism. I mean, there's so much we have to analyze in the government reaction that's happening right now. It's going to take a long time to get through it all. But with the new bill that just was passed, there's already information in there that says the CDC is going to have its own surveillance system set up now in the wake of this. So we're talking about medical martial law, all right, that's invisible. You can't see it because they're tracking everyone through their cell phones, forced vaccinations. This is not, this is not a joke. This is not you know, just a bunch of crazy conspiracy hype. This is actually happening right now. We've been talking about this type of stuff for over a decade. And now the end game is finally coming together. So just be ready for anything, folks. Be ready for anything. Now, Dr. Shiva, he is a huge advocate for a clean America with clean air, clean water, clean food. And on his campaign website, he states that, quote, career politicians have once again divided us when it comes to something as universal as the environment. We all want a clean America with clean air, water, and clean food. And that's the real solution one that unites us all. So say a prayer for our president, say a prayer for this nation, and just say a prayer for the world that a massive healing will take place because we do not want the globalists to usher in their new world order using this tactic. Comment below. We'll see you at the next report for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi. Thanks for watching the Next News Network. Tap here to subscribe to the channel to get the latest news and alerts. Tap here to watch our latest breaking news and our top stories. Tap here for our latest featured interviews. And make sure you tap here to get in on the new podcast, the Gcast, with my wife Angie and I. We'll see you at the next report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi.